literally like one of my biggest messages is go look at my YouTube. I've been uploading since the age of 15. I was very open and honest when I was broke. I was very open and honest when I used to take the bus to a bookstore called Brixton Bookmongers because I couldn't pay because I was reading a book a week. So I couldn't afford to spend 50 pounds a month on books. So instead I go to Brixton Bookmongers and buy books for three pounds. So that way for 12 pounds, I've got my entire reading for the month. Like you can see all of that documented and you can see that I failed for a long time. There's clear as hell com uh, documentation that from the uh, time in which I got my first client to when I got my second client, seven months. Now, most won't wait seven months. If they're not making $10,000 a month within seven months, they think, you know, something's wrong with them, blah, blah, this, that. Like people just need to set their expectations. If you told our parents, like sometimes you just need to sit with someone older than you and explain that it's been, you started a business and it's been nine months and you make $3,000 a month in profit. Most people online these days, they think if they make $3,000 a month in profit within nine months, they're a failure. Go tell your parents that. Go tell an older entrepreneur you know that. Because here's what they'll tell you. They'll go, okay, yeah, so I took my entire life savings. I invested into a business and after three years we were profitable. Like we, we're living in loony land. We're living in a delusional world. But see, whose fault is that? Like, I feel like even I'm partly to blame. Like, we're putting out these crazy numbers out there. And do you Correct. ever feel, like, bad about 